Hello everyone, it's me Ilian and today I would like to share with you uh, my ideas on a currency pair. Uh, last week, if you remember or uh, if you have seen uh, the last trading plan video, I sh I've shared with you a trading plan based on the US dollar Japanese yen, which so far fulfilled great. Uh, today, uh, instead of sharing you a new currency, I would like to uh, make an update on that plan uh, from last week and uh, show you what I expect to happen because uh, I still believe there are some great opportunities on this currency pair and not only that but it is always better to focus uh, for a long period of time on one or two currency pairs and just uh, try to uh, maximize your profits from them. So uh, without further ado let's get started. Uh, what you currently see on the screens is the H4 time frame of the USD Japanese yen currency pair. And I first I want to sh show you where I shared uh, the trading plan uh, with you on this pair. Uh, just to mention here uh, with our subscribers, we continue following this pair for the past maybe three, even four weeks now. Uh, and so far it has given us some great opportunities, uh, some of them we managed to catch, others we missed. Uh, if you checked this plan uh, last week, uh, right shortly after I posted it, there was a great um, buy opportunity. Uh, it is what we have been expecting and I, many, I hope you managed to catch it. Uh, let me show you. Uh, the plan, the idea of the plan was that uh, on the daily time frame, uh, the pair is moving in this uptrend channel for quite some time, and I was expecting for uh, this uptrend to continue until that resistance area here, which is quite wide, but uh, you know you have to keep it in mind. Uh, the price might enter deep inside it, like to the middle, uh, but still you should know that there is a chance for a reversal here in this zone. So let's go back to the H4 where our initial plan was uh, made. You can see uh, this little triangle shows uh, where uh, the plan was posted, where to invest for a training uh, long-term approach. Now you can see that uh, here previously we had this bottom. Uh, let me just switch the color so you can see it better. Here we had this bottom after this uptrend wave and a correction. After that the price uh, was moving slightly up but uh, not uh, as strong as we expected and after this consolidation was broken it seemed that the price is ready to continue up but actually retraced back down so this was a fake break and you can see where I posted the plan I was expecting for the price to either move a bit further down to the um, bottom line of this overall uptrend or to stop somewhere here at that bottom as it did uh, you can see that here we had an engulfing, a bullish engulfing, uh, which obviously showed us that uh, the price won't be breaking this previous bottom here and it might continue up and you can see what happened after that. A huge and very nice upswing uh, which you could have exploited and made some great profits out of it. Now, uh, you, for the last few days, uh, this upswing has finished with this uh, sort of a consolidation or a range on the H4. Uh, although here we had a test, uh, like uh, this was yesterday, of the, of the top of this area. The price tried to uh, go above it, but uh, was quickly pushed down and remained inside of this area. Uh, at this point, there are two possible scenarios, uh, but I'm more inclined to uh, look for a correction here. As the you can see this uptrend wave here was quite huge. And you can see how I marked uh, that wave and 
uh, how I mark the expected correction from me for our subscribers. Now the price still remains inside of this range. Uh, we have this top area, which is our uh, resistance area. And we have this bottom area of this range, which is our support. Now, <clears throat> as I told you uh, at this point, and as I told uh, our subscribers, I do expect to see a slight reversal here and uh, the formation of a downtrend. Uh, not only because here we had a huge uptrend wave, uh, but also that we got really close to the top line of uh, the uptrend channel and uh, not only that but we are quite getting close as you can see to the overall resistance zone uh, regarding which I spoke uh, a bit earlier in this video. Uh, so at this point I do expect to see a correction here. You can see how far down is the um, bottom line of the uptrend channel. So a correction here uh, would be uh, the more plausible scenario. I expect this correction to most likely finish uh, somewhere where the previous top was. So somewhere here. You can see I marked this area with this uh, blue line. And from there a new uh, uptrend wave to begin and uh, hopefully the price will reach this uh, resistance area. So. Uh, what can you do here uh, in order to extract profits? There are a few things uh, worth mentioning. Uh, the first is you can always wait for this correct correction maybe to finish here and uh, start looking for buy opportunities. We are in an uptrend, so it's better to buy here. But the um, area between the bottom here of this uh, current range and uh, this uh, top here where I expect the correction to finish uh, is quite large so you can go ahead and apply a counter trend technique so uh, just wait for a break of this uh, consolidation or this range and try to look either for uh, sell opportunities on the lower time frame so when 30 and 15 or you can enter directly at the break on the H4. Uh, now here, since it will be a counter trend trade, I advise you to take this trade with less investment. Uh, we are going against the trend, so uh, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. Now, uh, of course, we can also see a break of uh, the top of this uh, range area, uh, at which point, I wouldn't take a trade because you can see that uh, actually the area that is left for the price to cover until it reaches the uh, resistance zone is uh, kind of small and uh, we've been in this uptrend for quite some time now so I don't recommend taking a trade here. Uh, also here we don't know uh, how much deep uh, the price can go inside the resistance area, so it would be risky. We have to um, take into account that the price might reverse uh, from the uh, beginning of this resistance area. Also, uh, you can see that this uptrend line here uh, is even uh, further below, so actually the price can actually um, bounce from somewhere here, so this would make your area to buy uh, actually even smaller. Uh, what else you can do here is uh, go on a lower time frame. So for example, M15, uh, M30, even M5, and uh, try to uh, maybe sell the uh, top of this range. So look for sell positions somewhere here on the lower time frames. And of course, uh, for buy positions at the bottom of this uh, range, uh, those should be uh, intraday trades. You should uh, close, for example, if you take a sell position uh, over here at the top, you should close uh, the bigger part of your uh, trade 
down here when the price reaches the bottom of this range and leave about 10-20% floating. Uh, that way, if this range actually, uh, you know, continues for uh, quite some time here, you can build uh, like a base of floating trades, both uh, buy and sell trades. And uh, at the end, it doesn't matter uh, if the price breaks the uh, top of this area or the bottom, you will be generating a lot of profits of those floating trades. And of course, you can also uh, take a full trade uh, when a break of this range occurs. So this is it regarding this pair. Again, uh, we are going to share uh, live signals on our Telegram channel. If you haven't joined, you can do it through the link uh, in the description below this video. Uh, we continue following this plan. I showed you all the possible scenarios. Now let's see what the market has to offer. Last but not least, uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little bell button so you get notified when we share any new content and your subscribes, upvotes uh, and of course views uh, help us a lot to grow and of course continue helping you. Thank you very much and I wish you a profitable week.